All right, so now that we've created all of the operations for facing, roughing, and finishing, the last thing we want to do, as you can see over here, is there's a hole to drill. Now, if I zoom into this area real quick, you're going to notice, and twist it, you're going to notice that there's still shaded area on the inside. That's because that stock is still there, and we've told it that we're going to be machining that stock. So we still need to do that. Let's go ahead and create that. So to do any kind of drilling, come over here to lay toolpath, and you just come over here under the drill operation. Now this is going to be the same for both spot drilling, center drilling, or just any kind of drilling. Now it's really nice, the tool parameters, the toolpath parameters for the drilling, and only those drill tools will come up. They filter on their own when you select the drill operation. And there's a lot. There, there's end mills for reaming. Uh, there's uh, the drilling up. There's drilling toolpath right here. There are drill tools. And there are, come over here to center drills. And last but not least, in the beginning, you'll see all the spot drills. Okay. So for this one, we're going to be, what we're going to be doing is center drilling and then drilling our toolpath. So I'm going to be doing all of that in this video. So first and foremost, we're going to have to select a center drill. Now, if I go back to my drawing, you're going to notice that this is in a half an inch hole that is 2.15 inches in depth. Okay. So I need to, those are very important uh, information and parameters that I need to remember while I'm doing this. So for a half an inch drill, I need to use a half an inch center drill. Okay. Again, I'm not going to be worrying about tool numbers, feed rates, but make sure you, uh, for the uh, comment, make sure you put center drill operation or something that will remind you to know, uh, or the operators to know what this uh, code does after that point. So we'll tell them center drill operation and we'll show all the code after that for the center drill operation. Let's go ahead and go simple drill no pack. So for over here, we just want to make sure that we drill to a certain depth. Now remember, Z this way is positive, D up is positive. We're going to be drilling the opposite where the Z is going. So that has to be in the negative direction, okay? And usually what we do for center drills, we drill to the half of the diameter of the center drill. So that center drill is a half an inch. So we're going to be going down negative 0.25, okay? Because we're going in here in the negative direction, all right? So drill point, this is another way you can select a drill point uh, if you want, if you know exactly how far you're drilling, okay? The drill depth, if you know exactly how deep you're drilling as well. So this is another way you can do that. And I'll show you how to do that when we do the drilling operation. For the center drill, I already know that I want to drill 0 .0, uh, 0.25 inside of our part. I really don't have a point I can select. And that's why I need to make sure that I know how much to drill, okay? So X and Z, we're going to leave those at zero. All right, clearance. This is how much clearance you would uh, you would need before you start drilling. And there's a retract. So if you have an operation that keeps drilling and peg drilling uh, back and forth, and we'll go through that in a different uh, exercise, you would select uh, uh, a retract position where it retracts to a certain point every single time. But for this one, we're going to leave it at point one because it's really only going to go down once, do the center drill, and come back down. The cycle, we want to make sure that drill is selected and we will be actually using different ones later as well. There's also custom made ones that you can custom and use yourself. But for this one, we're going to keep it at drill and the dwell is at zero. Now there's drill tip compensation. So this is usually used when you're drilling past a certain, past your entire part. Obviously we're drilling to a certain depth, so we don't need to have this one checked. All right. So keep everything the same here. And then there's simple drill custom operations. We really won't be using these uh, in this exercise or probably any of these lessons, but I will go over them in one of the exercises. So after you're done with that, go ahead and select OK. And you're going to see your tool come in, machine, and come back up. Let's go ahead and verify that so we make sure that it's done correct. Now, I'm just going to uh, basically, you still have to select at least the facing operation. Now, to select two operations that are that are not connected one after the other, hold control and select that one. So now you can see lathe face operation and the lathe drill operation selected. Basically what that does is make sure that this, uh, this face is uh, done, it's machined before it shows you the drilling operation. So let's go ahead and verify that real quick to make sure that this is done correct and press play. So this will show you the facing operation and then when it's done with that, it will show you the a center drilling operation. There you go, it comes in and it will drill that center drill for you. And there you go, it only takes 2 minutes 52 seconds for the, for all of that to happen. I'm going to exit out of that and again, uh, if you're not very familiar with CNC, center drilling operation is used so you can just guide your drill 
in the machine so you don't want your basically your drill to come in if it came in off center it will machine still the entire the path off center it can actually break your tool but a center drill operation uh, it helps guide your tool in the correct method uh, way to make sure that it is centered throughout the entire center of the part okay so let's go ahead and create now the drill operation so it's the same thing go to drill all right um if i go point to drill so i'm gonna go over here and select my center over here and go ahead and select okay all right no so this is okay i made a mistake in this i'm gonna keep it over here it, it, i selected my drill operation from the 2d tool path this is only used in the milling operation so i'm going to exit out of that now some of these are still available and you can still do them so you want to make sure that you don't select uh, the wrong ones go back to lathe and select the drill operation all right so for now we want to go back on and select the drill for the half inch operation so there you go so drill 0.5 diameter and go ahead and select drill operation over here type in drill operation for comment i'm going to go over this real quick simple drill pack so now this is going to be different and you can actually select the depth now if you did not know for for any reason if you don't have the drawing over here that tells you 2.15 okay you can actually select the depth so go ahead and select depth and what you want to do here is rotate your part until you can see that depth point right here and select that depth point all right and go ahead and select okay you're going to notice that it will automatically go negative 2.15 which is exactly what R says now sometimes the model is just a hair off of what the drawing is so if you want to correct it just make sure you delete everything past this point to make sure it remains point uh negative 2.15 and that's it so you keep everything the same and go ahead and select okay to accept that and let's go ahead and place this in isometric view and as you notice i'm going to zoom in again to it rotate your part you're going to notice all the shaded area is gone and this is how you verify that it is done correct all that shaded area is gone so i know my part is drilled correctly what i'm going to do now is go ahead and minimize all of my operations and select all of them okay and what i'm going to do is i'm going to verify all of them to make sure everything is done correct let's go ahead and play them all out i'm going to make this a little bit faster so it goes a little faster so i did the facing roughing there is the finishing and you're finally that drilling operation all right now we'll keep the last tool there all the time but let's go ahead and place it in the front view and what i'm going to do is zoom in real quick over here and go back to home now if i select stock one more time it will come up as a shaded little black dot and you will actually see through your part and that's the whole point is i want to see through my part to make sure my drill operation is done correct now if i open up my drawing you're going to notice that this is exactly the same you're going to notice that my uh, tip basically starts off right from the edge right here and extends out to right there. So if I go back to my drawing, you're going to notice that the tip starts out right from right to edge and extends to right here. So I know this is done correct. So there you go. You just verified that everything is done correct. The entire operation takes 25 minutes. And again, if you the more familiar with SolidWorks, uh, MasterCam for SolidWorks that you get, you will understand uh, how to go back to your parameters and change them to make your cycles a lot faster. So there you go. You've done your entire part correctly. It looks really good. And this concludes exercise number one for MasterCam for SolidWorks Lathe.